Welcome to Our Sweet Home Life. It's Glenda and Mojo today, and we are on a camping trip at Gunnersville State Park. This park is known for having bald eagles and a lot of beautiful wildlife. We are going to go inside the lodge, and then we're going to go on the balcony. They have a large balcony that overlooks the lake. They have some pretty flower boxes out here. That's pretty. Little magnolia trees. It's beautiful. Got the warm fire roaring. Look at the bear. That's the bear. The bear. And there's our buddy. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's taller than Mojo. He's a big old guy. Look over here. Here's another guy. Is that a bobcat? Bobcat. 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 Here's some more eagles. Who the Bassmasters class? 2014. Right here on the Lake Gunner. Let's go check it out out here. There's another exhibit. Bear and the eagle. Let's look at this view. This is such a gorgeous view. There's a boat down there, but you can't hardly see it. We brought the Apex Nano Coachman camper with us, and we're camped right down there in that campground. See where all those campers are? We have a bird's eye view from up here. We can see everything going on. The sun is setting in the west. Look at the shimmer on the lake. Isn't that beautiful? This lake is known for having great fishing. We talked to some people that were fishing and they said they were catching bass today. I wonder if he's catching anything. If you ever come to Alabama, come check out um, Gunnersville State Park. And there's another boat. Like here's another bunch of survivors. They survived the just zip lines today. That's pretty good. Last group I said asked they said they barely made it. Anyway guys, if it's not high enough you can climb on up a little higher and get get on the zip lines. Oh they're gonna go zip lining. Let's watch them.
bunch of brave souls here going up. It starts out kind of low and then it works on up to the higher points. Let's watch them. Let's watch them see if they're any good. But anyway, looks pretty fun, don't it? It's uh, about 20, 20 feet up right there, off the, off the ground. I just got these wild recruits there. Anyway, they, they latch on right there, and then they'll zip on down to that next tower there. There he goes, that's one of the instructors. He, he's latching on down there. Right, and he'll latch on and help everybody else get on, on this platform here. Right. So he double latches in, that way he's safe as can be. There's a good crew, I think, I believe he is, I don't eh, I think he may work here, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I think we got about eight or ten on this round here. Ah, he's giving her all the instructions. Have you ever been ziplining? I've never been ziplining. I think it's something I can do. All right, here she goes. Look at her, she's grinning, she's having fun, she's having fun. I believe I can do that job. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, here goes another one. There you go. I think I could do that. I think I could do that, guys. Well, guys, looks like they're off through the woods, doing the zip line. Here comes another bunch. Well, it's not too bad. I think I could do that. You ever went zip lining? On the side of the lodge, they have these uh, rooms that you can rent overlooking the edge of the lake. So there's the lodge. And these are the rooms. And I think they would have the same view as we had when we were overlooking the, the lake. See, there's the lake. And so I think that the rooms have a view. See, the rooms have a balcony. And there's the lake. Beautiful view, y'all. And down there is the campground. Right here beside the playground and the zip line. There's the playground. There's the beginning of the zip line. It's a beautiful park here. There they are on the zip line. Going across the high wire too. Yeah, it gets higher as you go. And you can look down and see the uh, lake. There's the zip line gear up. I guess that's where you put your gear on. And there they go zip lining through the trees. <laughs> See them through the trees there. Can't hardly see them, but I can hear them. They're down there in that tree down there. Here's some more rooms on this side, and then they have chalets. Mogo is walking down this way to the chalets. And look at that. They're on pillars overlooking the lake. There's the balconies that each room has. It's really beautiful up here. So if you don't have a camper or you don't have a tent, 
you can come rent one of these rooms that overlooks the uh, lake, or you can rent one of these chalets. They're really nice. If you enjoy water and enjoy fishing, this might be a good place for you to come on your next vacation. And then you get to enjoy this view. Your own private document. Mm-hmm. Down through there, there's a lot of them. Oh, there is a lot of them. I didn't know they had that many. Right. I'd say there must be about 20 of them. Yeah. It's nice and And then at the bottom of the hill along the lake side, they have lake side cabins. Uh, right before we get into the campground. This side's good. Man, look at that lake. Mm-hmm. Guys, you, you'll find anything in your, whatever you want to do up here. You want to stay in a cabin, a lake, a cabin, a chalet. And then they have a pavilion here. I think you can see it, but there's a pavilion with picnic tables and a vending machine on Mojo's side. I love those. These are lakeside, too. Look at that view. That's to die for. Wonderful. This is what Alabama has to offer, guys. We have a lot to offer here in this state. Then you can camp in this beautiful campground. Look at all these trees. It's not like a parking lot. You have some trees, and there's deer that come up from those woods there and to come and uh, check you out. They'll come right on up into the campground, they say. I haven't seen any yet. But I've talked to people that have. So we'll go walk out here and check it out. And so here's the campground. Straight ahead. And the lake. This lake is known for some good fishing. There's an oldie, a cavalier. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Look at that yellow and white one. That's pretty neat. Then you have that big one there. But look at this schoolie down here. That's pretty neat, isn't it? And there is a mini teeny over there. A blue Winnebago. Never seen a blue one like that. Here's the water. There's the pier, and here's some boat slips over here, and people's out there fishing. I wonder if they're catching anything out there today. It's a beautiful lake.
Well, this is the last night that we're here. We're going to be going home. It's been a kind of cool and windy. Today has been the prettiest day so far. But look what Mojo has in this pot. He has us some good old homemade soup. And he started out with using leftovers, some of roast and some onion soup mix, some tomatoes and green beans and corn and potatoes and onion and garlic. It's gonna be nothing good but good, y'all. Guys, it's been a great week. I'm sad to say, Brenda said we gotta give, give it an ado. Goodbye, farewell. So long to this week. It's been a wonderful spring week. And we just have to end this video by saying it was a pleasure to be here at Connersville State Park, Alabama State Park. This is one of the larger state parks. Probably, I don't know how many campsites are here in this one park. How many would you imagine? I really don't know, but it's a beautiful park, and we've had a real good time, and we've met a lot of wonderful people that we want to do a shout-out to. i got some names written down, and to all of you, we got nearly 25 new subscribers, and we met, met you, and it's a pleasure to have you on board with us. So if you have not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. We're almost got that thousand, and we need your help to get that thousand subscribers. So and please help us out. I'd like to say please forgive us if we did not include you because uh, sometimes it's hard for me to remember all the names. But I know there were several in here even before we started with these. But we do want to do a shout out to Fred and Lucy from Ontario. Thank you for watching our channel up in Canada, guys. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, viewers there in Canada, and we appreciate each one of you, too. Then we had Lauren Fountain. We met her. Thank you, Lauren, yeah. for uh, getting on board with us while we've been down here also. And Joshua, met him here at the camper. Joshua, it's been a pleasure having you. You know, meeting you and your family just been great. I, I mean, everybody I met has been wonderful people. Yes, here. yes. It's been one of our better times. Anybody you know right off? Uh, Cherie of? and Brett, we appreciate you subscribing and watching us from Atala. Atala. And we have several people that live in the Atala Gaston area that watch us as well, and we appreciate each one of you as well. And Kevin at, uh, Clark, at the Clarkson Bridge, you and your little wife and family, Alexis and Olive, uh, Olivia, thank you for subscribing and getting on board with us. Yeah. Okay, we just got back from a walk and went to uh, take our grandson to the park. And we met some more uh, new people that said they were going to subscribe. We met uh, Keith. I want to do a shout out to him. He was out there uh, fishing. Hope he catches some fish tonight. And Mary Ann, she was up at the uh, park. And... Um, also, um, Tanya and Rick from Kimberly, and uh, Miss Hogan that was originally from Pleasant Grove, but now lives in Morris. I'm sorry I can't remember your first name, but uh, it's been a blessing to meet all of you, and you have certainly enriched our uh, vacation. And we've really enjoyed meeting you and talking with you. Seems like we've met a lot, a lot of guys up here. Yeah, it was been wonderful, guys. Can't say enough about this place. We'll have to try to come back on this day. I saw some eagles too, by the way. Yeah, we have seen some eagles deer. and we saw some uh, deer. A lot of deer. Yeah, a lot of deer in, in the area and eagles too. Also, we want to uh, say thank you for subscribing some of the towns. Like we had a lot from Morris subscribe and a lot of them from Gardendale who subscribed and Pleasant Grove. And Kimberly. And Kimberly's who subscribed. Yes, we had several people that we have met from those areas, and we just want to do a shout out to each and every one of you, and thank you for watching us and subscribing and being part of our family. And if we missed you, you you you, you sent us a text, a, a, a message to say, uh, how about including me on there? And we'll give you a shout out too. Right on in the comment section. There you go. Tell us hello, and we'll do a shout out to you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next time on our next adventure. Yes.
We appreciate each one of you and hope you have had a good spring break. And thank you for joining us on our adventure. And we'll see you next time. And be sure to ring the bell. Ring that bell. You never know what kind of venture we'll be on next.